some updated information in terms of super volcanoes worldwide. Wanted to share this image with you guys and some history when looking at the recent events that they're seeing here at Campe Flegre, the super volcano situated here, and also Mount Vesuvius. Now, Mount Vesuvius, it's famous for when it, it had erupted, it had buried the city of Pompeii in ash, uh, killing some 2,000 people in the process of doing that. It was regarded as one of the most catastrophic natural disasters ever, and it's still heavily studied today by scientists. But by comparison, Mount Vesuvius being a volcano, it's not the super volcano that Campe Flegre is. Now, Campe Flegre has a half a million people in this vicinity that would just get annihilated if this thing was to actually just explode. Now, its last notable eruptions were 39,000 and 12,000 years ago. But since 2005, they have detected what they call an uplift, where sometimes you'll see this in volcanoes where it will uplift and then go back down as it's venting. Sometimes before an explosion or a big eruption, you'll see this lift is everything starting to swell, and sometimes it's the only signs that you'll get besides earthquake swarms and magma on the move telling you that there's about to be an eruption. So here recently, they have witnessed an uptick in earthquake activity, all kinds of swarms going on, small magnitude swarms happening around this volcano, meaning that this could be magma on the move underground, and they state just that moving into new pockets and crevices and when it's doing this and you have this movement you have to keep an eye on it to see if it starts to head toward the top now in the past in africa i think it was a treo i'm not sure exactly what country it was but there was a volcano and there was earthquakes happening uh, to the west of it very odd on the earthquake map earthquakes coming out of africa you hardly ever see it and started to notice that these were marching toward the east and was in a perfect line. Well, as I watched this, I seen that there was a volcano out ahead. And I put a video out and I knew that if they strike anywhere near the top of this thing, it's going to blow. And that's exactly what happened. And it was pretty amazing because I was actually sitting there watching while tracking the earthquakes. Watching that magma on the move, triggering those quakes heading toward the volcano. And once it hit the top, it exploded. And uh, set off quite a plume that you could see from uh, space. But in terms of a super volcano waking up, this one is seeing activity with, um, I said, I said just this vicinity, but you're talking globally. Because when Vesuvius and other eruptions have happened, it has changed the weather. They say that when Campe Flegre erupted, they think that one of these times contributed to the extinction of the Neanderthals. Now, that's heavily debated, but it did cause heinous weather changes with toxic levels of sulfur in the air, and it also caused dark red sunsets for a year, as well as tons of acid rain. So, supervolcano anywhere across the globe, Yellowstone here in this country, Definitely be a game changer globally. But I will leave a link with more information and I'll continue to update if we see any changes. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.